Our collapsible staves use a small piece of composite with adapters on both ends. And these, uh, again, you don't want to break it down all the time, but they're kind of intended to be broken down for travel. Some of them are, I would say this one's almost too loose. If you feel like you have one that's too loose and it's gonna come apart while you're using it, let us know. We can send you tighter adapters, or if they've loosened up over time, you're gonna to wanna to replace that. And so please contact us and we'll sort you out. Uh, if you're having trouble because it's very snug and tight, I would consider that mostly a good thing. You want it to be really snug and firm. You might need a little bit of help twisting it. Again, you can use a gripper or get somebody to help you. Um, just another uh, good tip if it's really tight is to try and do it suddenly. If you're trying just kind of like pushing and pushing, obviously don't worry about breaking it because you're supposed to. Twist it to pop the buttons out of the holes and then you can twist and pull it apart. Now, if you want to get the connector out of the other side because it you know, wasn't in the side that you wanted it to be for whatever reason or breaking it down further for travel, obviously twisting it out to remove it is the next step. If you don't have a gripper or something, these are actually really easy to grip with. Like you could use your shirt or a piece of fabric or pretty much anything to help you get a grip on that where it's not hurting your hand to get enough force to twist it out. Now, if your connector is particularly tight, I would only do this for the uh, collapsible staff, not for any of the composite sticks because you want those connectors to stay really strong. But if you have to break it down frequently, this may also apply to a saber. If you have a particularly tight connection, you might want to put a little bit of lube. There's a lot of scenarios where plastic on plastic, flow toys, if they're kind of gritty or sticking too much or binding, the tiniest bit of lube, I mean really almost nothing, if you put that in there and smear it around, when the plastic rubs on the plastic, it's gonna wipe away any significant amount of lube. So you're really just looking for the thinnest film. You don't need the thing to be goopy. You don't want it to be collecting dirt because there's so much, um, I'm saying lube. Petroleum jelly we found to be pretty much ideal for Vaseline. You could also use chapstick in a pinch. Um, in, a, in a real pinch, you can even just use uh, I call it monkey grease, but basically human oils from your skin, if you can get enough, like maybe behind your ear, um, to rub it in there if you're, I don't know, out in the wild and uh, really just want to make it work. That can help. It can make a surprising difference. I do speak from experience. And so that will enable you to use your connectors and put them back together.